release pain. We become visible to each other. And that is an actor's job. That and, you know, pretending to be other people. Let's start with you. Access and share with us a profoundly deep and painful memory. I'm on the playground. Stop taunting me. I just want to go on the swings. Good. <laughs> Early childhood is a treasure trove of pain. That happened this morning. You're up. Me? Um, I don't, I don't think. Um... I don't want you to think. Feel. Go back. Dig in. Immortalize. Something hurt you. Well, that's one answer. Here's the one I had in mind. Combining all nine tools, you get this. A deadlier weapon than any one item in the box. So, I'm going to use this to attack you, and you use respect to defend yourself. Uh, oh, uh. Oh, oh. oh my God! I respect you! That's why you fail! What is going on, my blueberries? Show them what you did. No. I rest my case. What case? Throw the freaking hump, imposter! What are you hey! doing? No! Hey! You... <gasps> it's the hilarious guy on guy. One rule I asked you to follow. One. Look! <gasps> I had it made before he died. It's not in bad taste. Out, winger! Fine. That's fine. No, that's fine. <gasps> Whoa. Congratulations. You failed a class so easy that people passing in the hallway get a contact credit. Oh, my love, my darling. Come on, stand on your desk. Up on your desk? She made it! <laughs> Everyone, stand on your desks. Up, 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 come on. Rise, rise, rise above the programming. All your lives you were told, don't stand on your desks. Well, why not? She's okay. Go to the nurse. Seize the day. Welcome, research assistants. If you turn your attention to the monitor, you will see that our subjects are waiting for the experiment to begin. But it's actually happening right now. You see, the waiting is the experiment. The Duncan principle is simple. Namely, that the more control lost by the... Yeah, I'm going to write this down too, actually. That's a good point. The more control lost by the ego, the more gained by the id, resulting in a surprisingly predictable emotional eruption or breaking point, known to Ma and Pa as a good old-fashioned tantrum. <laughs> well, I'll tell you why I teach Spanish. It is none of your business. Okay. And I don't want to have any conversations about what a mysterious, inscrutable man I am. <laughs> I am a Spanish genius. In Espanol, my nickname is El Tigre Chino. Because my knowledge will bite her face off. So don't question Senor Chang, or you'll get bit. Ya bit. Ya bit. And this is Grifting 101. <laughs> now, which one of you thinks I did that on purpose? Exactly. You think you've seen me fail. You think you've spotted a weakness. Let me tell you something, with a flick of a wrist, I could show you a fool one minute or longer. I see you've got your briefcases. Excellent. Hold them aloft. Pass them to each other. Now pass them back. Do it at speed. Quicker. Pass them like hell. Pass them like your sister's dying. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Soy doctora Escudera. Me dicen que ustedes están en su segundo semestre, así que voy a hablar lentamente para entendernos. Sí. sí. 
Buenos días. ¿Me pueden decir en qué punto están en su libro de lectura? Sí. 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 Fresh meat, huh? Yeah. Jeff Winger, law. Buzz Hickey, criminology. You can have that half of the office, but come spring, that corner is stacked to the rafters with fetal pigs. I won't be here that long. It's sort of a temporary gig for me. Ooh, I got it. Teaching to make ends meet until a real job comes along, yeah. Me too. Oh, cool. How long have you been? 15 in years. <laughs> 15 years and counting? <laughs> temporary. The Bernoulli distribution is the number of successes in a sequence of independent yes-no experiments. Okay, uh, for the quiz, Monday, brush up on chapters three and four. Bernoulli's one of my favorites. Little known fact, statistics were not his only love. He's also famous for his French sauce used on meat and poultry. That's Bernays. Oh, we may need to settle this at a restaurant. It's cute. A little aggressive, but as a busy, confident woman of authority, I'm attracted to men who take charge. Are you being sarcastic, or am I nailing it? You were nailing it until you had to ask. Oh, damn it. I'm so excited that we finally have a Model UN here at Greendale. I'm really, 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 really into Model UNs. They used to call me Model UN guy back in college. Well, that's not... Don't research that. The important thing here is that I am really... Pardon me, Professor Cligaris. Cligoris? Either pronunciation is fine. Are you here for the Model UN? I'm here to tell you that the entire idea to have a Model UN was hers. Really? So you're Clark M. Eichelberger. So I've had your photo around my neck since I was in high school. Class dismissed! There's a path you take, and a path I'm taking. The choice is up to you, my friend. is written by the victors. Well, of course, we all know the quote. What does it mean? According to Oxford University, it means that my 20 years loyal service there means nothing next to a little slip up with a co-ed. <clears throat> But what it really means is that history can be seen from a multitude of vantage points. So, for your first test on Monday. Oh. Come on. But I'm confused. When do we get our ice cream? I want to challenge you to look at history from all perspectives. How would the story read if it was written not by the victors, but by the vanquished? This is Intro to Biology. I'm your professor, Dr. Marshall Kane, PhD. It took me 6,205 hours to get my degree. And I know, because I was only allowed in the library one hour per day at the San Vicente Correctional Facility while serving a sentence of 25 to life. Take her back to harbor. Plank the sheets and uh, trim the head sail. Aye, aye. Aye, aye. Eyes on me for a moment. I don't see students here, I see seamen. And I didn't create them. From the moment you climbed aboard, I saw seamen inside you. More importantly, you've stopped giggling at the word seaman. And that's the mark of a real seaman. Hi, everybody. I'm Jeff, um, Mr. Winger. And this is Fundamentals of Law. Any questions? You, red hair. I'm not going to learn names. Will there be a syllabus? Will there be a syllabus is a good example of a question. Moving on. Ski cap. How are we going to be graded? Oh, no spoiler, ski cap. Maybe we better do names. Dave, what percent of our grade will the final be? Come on, guys. Percentages, grades, that syllabus thing. Are we human beings or just question and answer machines? We're students. Give me some more time and dream.